This is the lecture 7 in knowing about DC motors and this is about the speed control of DC motors. Let's look into what or how the speed of different DC motors can be uh, controlled. Uh, what we have seen so far is the motor principle. We derived the back, uh, back EMF equation. Again, we derived the voltage equation of electrical motors. We looked into the torque equation. We saw the different characteristics of DC motor, how the DC motor uh, armature current and torque was dependent and how the speed varied with the armature current. Again, in constant speed application or different speed application drives, it is very necessary to have different speeds of the motor and to achieve different speeds, it is necessary to control or vary the speed and different methods for speed control of motors are, as, are available. The speed of any DC motor is can be defined by the equation VA that is a voltage across the armature minus IARA divided by K5. Phi is a flux per pole and VA is a voltage across armature and IA is a current flowing through the armature and RA is a armature resistance. VA minus IARA can also be written as EB that is a back EMF. So the speed is directly proportional to back EMF and is inversely proportional to the flux and depending on this the speed can be controlled by varying the flux that is by varying the flux the speed yeah, below speed above the normal or speed above the normal rate of speed can be available also it can be achieved by rating varying the armature resistance or the armature voltage by decreasing the armature voltage speed below the normal speed can be achieved also by varying the applied voltage or the voltage control method speed can be varied or different methods of speed control can be achieved so these are the main methods by which the speed of the armature or uh, speed of the motor can be varied. Let's look into the speed control of the shunt motors. This can be again achieved by varying the feed fl flux and varying the armature resistance or the armature voltage. By increasing or decreasing the armature resistance, the voltage across the armature can be varied and also the field resistance can be varied. This will vary the flux. So it is same as the varying the field flux. So let's look into the flux control method of speed regulation in DC shunt motors. Uh, one thing to note is that DC shunt motors are essentially constant speed motors and they operate at rated speed for almost all the armature current or load current. And the speed regulation of this motor is achieved by varying the flux as speed is inversely proportional to the flux. A Rho state or a resistance is connected in series. A variable resistance is connected in series with the field resistance. As the field is constant by varying the resistance, the current flowing through the field winding can be varied. This will again weaken the flux. As the flux weakens, the speed will increase above the normal speed of this kind of motors. So the speed regulation above the normal speed can be achieved by connecting a variable Rho state in series with the field resistance. This is known as field control method. As seen, the speed of the field, field resistance of the motor is varied by Rho state. This varies field current, this, thus varying the field flux. Speed is inversely proportional to the flux, so it will vary, as said. Again, the next method is the armature resistance or Rho static speed control. This is by varying the voltage which is directly available across the armature and you can see the diagram for the speed control using armature resistance control of shunt motors as you can th see this field winding it will it will be constant the field will be constant it will draw a constant current and the armature resistance is varied which will vary the voltage available across the armature as there will be a drop which is, will happen across the armature resistance which will uh, reduce the uh, voltage available across the armature so the VA will reduce so VA minus IA RA divided by flux that was the speed available that was the equation for speed so if you see the equation for speed is directly proportional to V minus IARA divided by flux so as the armature resistance is varied or it is increased or decreased the speed will reduce as the resistance will increase and this can be seen from the graph where N1 was a rated speed and N2 was a speed with the resistance in series. Again there is a voltage control method. The voltage across the armature is varied using various methods used mostly when more sensitive speed control is required. This is a wall Leonard system which is a method of speed control which, which is achieved by varying the armature voltage 
uh, a method for varying the armature voltage was by using the rear state across armature another method for finer control is a ward leonard system let's look into the ward leonard system of shunt motors we are talking about shunt motors we are not going into series motors as of now so let's look into the speed control of shunt motors using ward leonard system so in ward leonard system where fine tuning speed control is required by varying the uh, voltage across armature in finer levels so the initially both the there are two one is motor and the other is generator both are two machines are there both are identical machines and initially both are started as generator and the field of one is weakened and it becomes a motor and the generator is then rotated by a three phase induction motor and by varying the field of the generator the voltage across the motor or the voltage input to the motor which is the output of the generator is varied by varying VA fine uh, speed control of the motor, motor is up available as the speed is directly proportional to VA minus IAR divided by flux. So generator output voltage which is input to motor whose speed is to be varied. Output voltage of generator is varied by varying the field of the generator thus speed control is possible. And the next con type of control is for the series motors. So different methods of speed control for series motors are available. So we first we'll look into achieving speed below the rated speed or below the base speed. So when you connect two series motors in parallel across a sub in series across a supply voltage, the voltage available across each motor is half of the supply voltage that is V by 2. By reducing the voltage available across the terminals, the speed below the rated speed can be available as the speed is directly proportional to voltage and now next is achieving speed above base speeds so that is speed above the rated speed and speed is inversely proportional to the flux so by using a dry diverter resistance if some of the current flowing through the field windings that is armature current is diverted using the diverter then the field will be weakened and by weakening the field or the flux which which is available to the motor the speed will increase above the base speed so this is a method to achieve speed above the base speed for the or the rated speed for the decision motor and this is achieved by using diverter So that is using a diver to the flux is weakened and this will raise the speed of the motor. <coughs> and that was for the DC series motor for above the base speed. And uh, uh, one more method of uh, attaining speeds above the base speeds are by using field tappings for different tapping levels so the field MMF is varied so the amount of field windings exposed to the armature current is varied that is a MM MMF that is number of turns into the current is varied and this will in turn uh, the flux is directly proportional to the MMF so the, as the MMF will vary or the number of turns of the field will vary the flux will be varied or it can be reduced at different tapping levels when number of turns changes the field MMF will also change and this will change the flux and this will reduce the flux and the speed will increase and this is one method of speed control for DC series motors And finally we will look into the last method which is uh, by using different coils in series and when you have a motor and you connect the different series coils different the series winding have different coils as you can see there are four coils in this case and this when the four coils are connected in series the current flowing through them is the windings are IA so the flux will all obviously be high so for series connection the 
coil flux produced is proportional to IA and for series parallel connection it will be proportional to IA by 2. So when the flux will go to IA by 2 the obviously the flux will reduce or the field will reduce so higher speed will be achieved. So two levels of speed that is one when the windings are connected in series and one in parallel can be achieved by this method. That's all about the speed control of DC motors. If you like this video please do subscribe, like and comment.